Hey everyone, welcome to the After the Eviction Show with Ali. Thank you to our presenting sponsor, Shaw. So let's hear it for Alejandra. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, Ali. What? You are a ding without a dong right now. I am. I'm so sad. Oh, okay. Well, don't be sad. No, I'm actually mad. Or, okay, so yeah, <laughs> you, you prefer to be mad. Is I'm that mad. easier to like work it's through? It's easier to be mad. I think I'm going to just be mad for a few days, let that subside, <laughs> and then we'll see where the tears start flowing. Oh, well, you did get a little verklempt when you were talking about Olivia. Yeah, I did. Did the you show. notice that? You caught that. Yeah. Right? So observant. It's, was that a surprise to you? Because on, on night one, I never would have guessed that you guys would have been like this. Honestly, neither would I, but it was like instant. That was probably the closest I've ever gotten to love at first sight. Oh. Yeah, it was just instant. It was just easy, and I trusted her right away. She got my humor, I got her humor, and I just trusted her immediately. Mm. So it was really comforting. Really yeah. comforting. Some yeah. people don't ever have that. No, I know, game, and that's right? why I feel very grateful. Yeah. I recognize that for sure. Nice. Yeah. Well, I want to bring you way back to... The first week, yeah. Johnny was H O H. You were on the block, yeah. Deja vu. Uh, and here we are again, except this time you got got. I got got. I literally okay. said that. I was like, I got got. I got got. Uh, do you blame Johnny for your misfortune, or are there other things you could have done? I mean, it's never just one thing. It's always an accumulation of things. But I do blame Johnny <laughs> because I told him. I think his ideal was that. If he didn't put one of us up, we were going to vote to keep Kayla, which was a thought, but I don't think it we were actually thought. going to go through with it. And I begged him, begged him not to do it and to put one of the three from the trio up. And he just wouldn't take my word for it. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Aww, I called it. <laughs> okay, well, I want to talk about the last uh, week and the last few days because. Yeah. It has been crazy in there. Little We've huts. all been watching Little with huts. popcorn, <laughs> uh, with house meetings and oh turn God. up the place. W what was happening? Like, d was it all like just evaporating? <sighs> okay, first of all, I think we're probably the first season in history to have so many freaking house meetings. Like, I literally count so many meetings. Them. So many. Um, but I think it was an attempt to kind of get everything out in the open and just kind of see who's telling who lied, but it really did become a lot of he said, she said, he said, she said, and it was just going around in circles. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, it wasn't about who was lying, because I think we were both lying to yeah. a degree. It was about who was more convincing, and apparently it wasn't me. <laughs> well, listen, you, uh, you wanted to blow up some games on your way out. I did. What was that about? Well, I'm just salty. I'm just <laughs> like, no, forget it, especially with Paris and Will. I actually did... You know, there was a lot of doubt going back and forth between Paris and I throughout the entire season. I'm sure you guys saw that, but ultimately I did feel like a little sister, big sister connection with her. And I thought that to be genuine. And with mm. Will, it has really been ride or die since the beginning. Like day two, I said, I'd have your back and I meant it. And we saved him over Erica and Erica was a tough one to see go. Mm. So I thought that that in itself expressed a lot of loyalty. So it was baffling to me to see them so on the fence. It just should have been a no-brainer to me. They lied to you, to your face. They threw you under the bus, to your face. And it just, it was just awful. So ultimately I was like, all right, well, if you don't have my back, then I'm not gonna have your back leaving this game. So here it is, spill all the tea for all the thirsties out there and do with it what you may. Hopefully, hopefully Olivia went in there and rocked the, the next HOH. Anybody wanna tell awesome. me? Awesome. No? We don't say anything here. Um, <laughs> We've got uh, from at Rusty Toddler, a good question for you. At what point did you see your game possibly slipping through your fingers? What was the moment? Uh, it was tonight, actually. Yeah. I did have like a human to human moment with Kayla and now I regret it. I think coming into this house, I always said I was gonna be a human first. I am very empathetic and I think that anytime people probably saw it with Andrew when he was down and out, yeah. even though he was coming after me, I'm a human first, and I wanted to make sure he never felt alienated. I did it with Ryan week three. It got me in trouble. People thought I was aligned with him. Every person throughout the way, when they felt defeated, I felt the need to kind of be there to pick them up. And the same thing happened with Kayla right before the eviction, um, which may, you may or may not have seen yet. But I just said to her, you know, as a human to human, like, you're an extraordinary woman. You're really strong, taking two weeks in the catacombs back to back, being on the block 
saying goodbye to your boyfriend or whatever the hell he is. I don't even know. They don't even make out. But anyways, that's some tea, tea to you. Tea. Yeah. Uh. So it was just I had a moment where she said, I hope Derek wins HOH. And I'm like, you know, I hope he does too for his sake. And she saw an opportunity there, took it, mm -hmm. ran with it. And I almost felt it instantly after it came out of my mouth. And I said, ah. Uh, and I think she ran to, to the trio with that information. And I think that was probably enough to convince them that, you know, I wasn't on their side, which was not the case. But okay, it is okay, it is. okay. It is uh, what it is. You are uh, heading to jury. Yeah. Um, are you excited to spend some quality time with Ryan? Oh, God. The worst part about this is that I legit did this to Ryan last <laughs> week. I flipped the house on him, so perhaps this is karma? <laughs> um, so I already know he's going to be waiting for me with a big red old beard on his face <laughs> and a big old grin and hopefully some tequila, Ryan. Please. Okay, okay. <laughs> Listen, we're going to go to an audience question. Brett? Yeah. Hi, Brad. Hi, Brett. What's your Hi, question? Brad. Who is the most manipulative house guest in the game? Ooh, that's a good one. Honestly, I think I'd have to say Paris. Yeah, I'll, up until this point, I would have said Kayla because I was trying to stay in the house, but Paris is doing a very good job at playing both sides, and she's doing a very good job at pulling at emotional heartstrings. She really makes you feel like, you know, don't tell anybody, I'm only telling you because I only trust you, and if this gets back to me, I'll know it was you. But she's literally repeating the same story to everybody. So I think she is a little bit of a manipulator one. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we've uh, got one more question about a uh, jury, actually. Yeah. At All Things Julia, will you be a jury member that holds grudges or one that gives their vote to the best player? Like, are you going to be a bitter juror or are you can you not wait to like stick it to the people who have wronged you i am gonna be a salty juror <laughs> i'm gonna be a sass cat but ultimately depending who's in the finale i will likely be over it by then and i will definitely sock it to them i will give them a hard time but i will vote for whoever played the best game okay amazing. olivia <laughs> okay <laughs> uh listen we do have a surprise for you thanks to shaw for connecting us across the country Please say hi to uh, your man Walker. <gasps> oh my God! Hey, He's hey, live. You can talk. Hey, hi, honey. Can you hey. believe what they did to me? Oh my God! I didn't know angels existed in real life. Okay. See you, ladies. Now oh this is a real God. man. Oh my God. Hi, babe. Miss you. Hey, hi, Max. Oh, who is that? Baxter. Oh, Baxter. Hi, Baxter. Mama. Baxter is unimpressed. I know. He's so pissed. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, I need to get fed. I need to go for a walk. Mom is just, she'll be home in two weeks. Let me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Love you. Miss you. I hate that I lost. I was you did not lose, babe. Apartment. I'm so proud of how you played. You are so amazing. I cannot wait to see you in two weeks. Uh, I cannot dispose of what I'm going to do to you, but uh, yes. Oh, M G, girl. Oh, my God. Going on here. This is new. Yeah, well, like I saw in the live feeds that I was supposed to wear a tight shirt, so this is what I. Oh, yeah, they're watching the live feeds. Looking good, looking good. Okay, oh, do you want to see you later? Bye, babe. I'll Bye, see you Walker. soon. I love you so much, babe. Aww. Woo, too weak. <laughs> okay, so listen, Ali, outside of, uh, out of, uh, outside of him, what do you miss the most? Uh, outside of him? Yes. Honestly, I think just being able to talk to and see the people that I love whenever I want. This house really gives you a new appreciation for everything. Like, literally, just being able to walk outside, see nature, breathe fresh air. We do have fresh air in there, but it's still constricted. Just being able to call my mom. You know, so, mom, I'm never gonna rush you off the phone ever again. Aww. Just being able to talk to her whenever I feel like it. Being able to call your girls, go out for a drink, give them a hug. Just like human contact. Mm -hmm. I think that this was awesome to be able to be disconnected from our phone because we get so wrapped up into that that even when we are around humans, we don't interact. Mm -hmm. And this has really taught me that I need to sometimes just slow it down and really appreciate the people that I surround myself with because I've picked them for a reason. Aww. And I can't wait to get back to them and just tell them how much I love them and appreciate them. Oh, Shout very out to sweet, me. very sweet. <laughs> We've got uh, another question from yeah. uh, John. Hi, John. I was really rooting for you. You were Aww, so much fun to watch. Thanks, John. Um, my question is, uh, which house guest would be the hardest to live with outside of the game? The hardest to live with outside? Like from the whole cast? The whole cast. Whole cast. Veronica. 
Veronica <laughs> would be the hardest to live with, hands down. Shout out V, I'm sorry. Girl is messy. <laughs> she is messy. It is not. It is beyond. I cannot. Uh, where would she be in the rank of like people that would be super fun to party with? Also, Veronica. Yeah. As messy as she is, I can see her getting messy. <laughs> but I like that messy over the other messy. Yeah. Awesome. Shout Thanks out V. She's the best. She's great. Uh, okay. Any advice for anyone who is potentially going to play this crazy game of Big yeah. Brother? Yeah. Um, any advice? I think. Definitely be present. I think we get so focused on the finish line that we kind of rush it all away or wish it all away and wish it'll go faster and then when it's gone, it's gone and you're really sad about it. I will say, talk little, listen more, but also <laughs> don't hold your cards too tight. Like just really find that one person or a couple people that you feel you truly trust and then also the wall, always. And honestly, working out, which I do, <laughs> does not always equate to comp wins, okay? So I know you're you going to win a comp. I was like, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> okay, anyway. listen, who will win? Before we wrap up, who, who will win? Who do you want to win? I want Olivia to win, obviously. Uh, but I have a feeling that it could be my boy Johnny. Woo! Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, well, listen, thank you so much, Ali. You were. So entertaining, so much fun to watch. You have so many fans. It was a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. I will never, ever forget this experience. Okay. And if you ever want to have me back, all stars. Um. <laughs> Listen, thank you, Tisha, for presenting the thank after you. show. Once again, Alejandra, everybody. Oh, so good. I know you like that, too. Every time I get it, I was like, mm, rolls my arm.